welcome back to day two at the Rail Yard Cafe and Bible Adventures. Oh, I'm so excited, Brent. Yesterday was so much fun, and I can't wait for another day of snacks and crafts and games. And Bible studies, right, Kylie? Right. Of course, Brent. Of course. So what's our totally true Bible story today? Well, this week we're learning about how Jesus' power pulls us through. Let's try something. Kylie, I want you to pretend that this balloon is you. I even drew your face on it. Brent, I sure hope that your Bible telling is better than your artwork. Just go with it. Sometimes we're full of joy and happiness, and we feel like we could float like this balloon. But life isn't always full of happy things. We may feel sad. <sighs> We get discouraged, and some days we may feel like there's just no hope at all. When we, were, when we were feeling sad and flat like the red balloon, Jesus' power gives us hope. That's our Bible point today. So whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power gives us hope, I want you to say, Amen! Amen. Oh, I love a good call and response, Brent. So, if Jesus' power gives us hope, amen. What's our Bible story about today? Well, do you remember our friend Saul? Mm -hmm. I mean, Paul, from our story yesterday? Wasn't he the one who was throwing Jesus' friends in jail, then he got some help from Ananias, and then became a follower of Jesus? That's right. Well, being a Jesus follower wasn't very popular, and Paul ended up getting arrested because he was talking about Jesus when the emperor told him not to. What? They arrested Paul and put him in a ship. They were taking him to Rome to get punished by the emperor. And then, as things couldn't get bad enough, God spoke to Paul and told him that there was going to be a storm and it would wreck their ship. Oh, that sounds really scary. Paul must have been terrified. I know I would have been. Paul wasn't a sailor. The guards were holding him prisoner, and he couldn't do anything about the waves and the storm. He must have felt really helpless. That does sound really scary, Kylie. But actually, Paul was very calm because he had Jesus' power on his side. He had hoped that God would save them, and he was right. The storm came just like God said, and everyone on the ship had to jump overboard and swim to shore. But every single person on board lived. So having hope is like being calm in a thunderstorm? Exactly. Oh. Or we could think about it like a train going through a long, dark tunnel. Every tunnel has a light at the end of it. Even when things look dark and scary, Jesus' power gives us hope. Amen! Amen. So, does that mean I can have my snack now, Brent? Sure yep. thing. But first, we should see what today's Bible Buddy has for us. Glad you're back on track at Rocky Railway. Wow, the first day just flew by, didn't it? I'm Ava, a red-tailed hawk. You can find me and my family members all over North America. We're everywhere. Even though we live all across North America, you may not see me in your backyard. <laughs> well, unless you don't have any neighbors. We like to live in wide open spaces where we can soar over treetops, grass, and water looking for food. You might say that red-tailed hawks are faithful friends. When we find a mate, we stay together for life. My fine feathered friend and I build our nests together and care for our chicks together. We're an excellent team. I'm happiest way up in the sky. That's why I build my nest at the tallest point I can find. Some hawk nests have been spotted as high as 120 feet off the ground. That's as high as a human tower of 20 tall crew leaders. My nest might be at the tip top of a tree, or even on the top of a building or a telephone pole. 
that gives me a bird's eye view of what's around. Food, friends, or animals that might want to hurt us. Ah, I love soaring with my big, beautiful wings. They're more than three feet across, you know. God gave me just what I needed to catch the wind and just fly. Up here, you see things differently. Stuff that seemed big seems smaller. Things that seemed harder look much easier. A path that looks like a dead end, hey, I can see a way out. A fresh perspective can put the wind under your wings and give you the strength to keep going. Sometimes I spot you humans with my sharp hawk eyes and you look a little down. Do things seem impossible? Scary? Hopeless? Maybe you need a fresh perspective. Maybe you need to see things Jesus' way, with hope. Jesus is stronger than anything. He has a plan for everything. You can have strength, courage, and hope. The Bible encourages us with these words. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. So trust Jesus. Before we, will you pray with me? Sure. Dear God, when life is dark, when life is scary, when we feel out of control, you give us hope. Thank you for being the light at the end of the tunnel. Help us this week to trust in you and your awesome power. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks for the snack and the story, Brent. Anytime, Kylie. Have fun today. Bye. Bye.